Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Linen. I'm James. Today I'm here with the one and only Debbie Gonzalez, aka the Gun. Hey, what's up guys? Him and his rare appearances. Uh today we're talking Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yes, we are. So it's it it was an interesting movie. So uh colorful. Very yeah, very <laughs> colorful. We actually were blessed enough to go get it have it seen basically a month before it came out. So by the time you're seeing this, it's already been weeks since we originally filmed this. Yeah. I can't believe we got to do that. It's so cool. Um, I'm excited. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was it was it was it was actually a really cool experience. We we got to go with the actually a couple of the actors which I won't mention names, but I mean, it was it was really awesome. Yeah, a few uh, a few of the cast were there as well as the producer. Gunn wasn't there unfortunately, but you know, he's a busy guy, so. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the meat of it. Yeah, so I want to say uh, this movie was really good. Um Really good, actually. I liked it. It was really colorful, fun. You know, it seemed to recapture the the great parts of the first film. I mean, it's James Gunn. He's a smart guy. He knows how to do that. However, with that being said, there were some parts that I felt were a bit draggy. I mean, it kind of you know slowed down at some parts, and I was kind of yeah about it. But then you know it picks up fairly quick after you know a draggy part. I mean, yeah. So I definitely felt the movie. I mean, as as far as Upping the next one, I definitely felt like it upped the other movie that they did. However, I didn't feel like it upped it by much, which was kind of a surprise. But yeah. I think it's because of it's a more personal adventure versus uh, you have a lot more people involved. And you will understand uh, what I mean by that once you actually watch the movie. Right. Um, another thing I want to complain about that I'm kind of pissed about is a lot of the good parts you know, the really funny stuff was shown in the previews. So that took away from a lot. And when I was watching it, I saw, you know, this is still funny, but I saw it, you know, a handful of times already. So it kind of took away from the moment. For yeah. me at least. Yeah. I think, I think movies, movies are trying, are starting to include, uh, this one's no different. They're including too many of the main, uh, pieces in which it makes the movie. Mm -hmm. I think they should include maybe one or two. Like go the way that video games, for example, go. They they show some cool stuff, but they don't give away the story. Right, and this uh, it definitely. I mean, there were so many funny parts in the movie, but I had already seen them thanks to the previews. <laughs> but I still enjoyed it. It's still a really good movie. It is. It's a. Uh, it's. <clears throat> It's definitely a nice, fresh, uh, it felt like a fresh story. Like, some of these other right. superhero movies felt like they were copying a little too many elements from each other. A little. <laughs> this, this one felt a like, there are some certain themes that might feel familiar, but for the most part, it's an original story. Yeah, absolutely. One thing I do want to touch on is James Gunn himself said that he feels Michael Rooker, who plays Yondu, I mean, I have to explain that. Deserves an Oscar for his performance in this. I want to say, Rooker is known for being a good actor, you know, obviously. I cannot agree more with James Gunn on this. Rooker knocked it out of the park. He kicked ass in this film. He did so well. I just, I was shocked. I mean, goddamn. <laughs> not, I mean, not only that, uh, he actually has more, I feel he has more uh, camera time because it felt yeah, like a lot he more. was very underused. I mean, he got all this praise and all this, this uh, advertisement for the previous film, mm -hmm. and I really felt they underused his character. And this yeah, is not the case. This is not the case. He has, yeah. he is, uh, he is almost. Uh, I mean, he's essentially guarding the galaxy. <laughs> I, I guess now instead of like this other, you know, renegade character. Yeah. So awesome job by Rooker. Awesome job by the entire cast, of course. Dave Bautista as Drax, my personal favorite character. He's freaking hilarious. He's a psychopath, but it's it's so the, good. The jokes don't stop. <laughs> yeah, and he he seems to be laughing a lot in this film, which yeah. is awesome. He's just always ah. Yeah, he, he awesome. definitely definitely a different take on his character this time around. He he was definitely a lot, it felt like a lot more carefree. Yeah, not I mean you know hopefully in a good way. Film he was talking about his family being murdered. And getting revenge and stuff, but this one he's uh, a lot happier for the Def most part. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So there's, 
See, as far as uh, Chris Pratt goes, I, there's not really much new to the character that I've seen. Yeah. Um, except, obviously, if it involves directly on the main storyline, which I'll keep it spoiler-free, but, I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, he definitely had a lot more serious tone when it came to right. his personal uh, issues that he's dealing with. Yeah, I mean, he's still funny, don't get us wrong, he's hilarious, but it's, you know, he has changed of character a bit, not, not in a bad way. <laughs> I will say that as far as the plot goes, I was not expecting that plot. I was not. It yeah, was, I agree. It was, I thought it was going to be something else, that it was going to be a similar, like, especially the introduction of this movie, it felt like it was going to be a similar feel to the first one, and it was a nice change. I argue perhaps it slowed down a little too much, but in the end, it definitely picked. <laughs> it picked up like you're at a drag strip, and you went from zero to a hundred really quickly. So yeah, isn't that a Drake song? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I said a drag strip. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, overall, I think this movie was awesome. It definitely recaptured, you know, the essence of the first film with the comedy. Uh, it's beautiful. It's so colorful. It's awesome to see that. It's really good to see a, a superhero movie, an action movie in general, that doesn't take itself too seriously. That is really cool. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend you see it. How about you? I, I definitely recommend it. I'm not, I'm not really like a, a superhero buff per se, but, but I mean, I, I've been impressed uh, these, I would say the past decade with what Marvel's been coming, at, coming out with for definitely. the most part. Yeah. And this is no different from my feeling. All right, well, thank you for watching. Uh, go see the movie. It's awesome. Uh, follow our Facebook page and Instagram. And then uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Cordon Film Productions. And then, of course, visit our website. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching again. Uh, and look forward to the next video coming out. Yeah, thanks, guys. See you next time. Woo.